with the the, the Harry Kane situation, um, as it stands, uh, Bayern Munich are looking to come back with a third bid of around ninety million pounds. Uh, according yeah. to over 350 Sky Spurs fans surveyed by the Skybet Fan Hope so- survey, the fan base are still completely split on what to do with Harry Kane. A combined 60% of fans want to sell up in the summer, 37% happy to cash in at Bayern's current value, uh, with a further 22% holding out for at least 100 million. Where are you at currently with that? No, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I mean, like from purely emotional, sentimental romantic uh, perspective I want us to keep him I want us to do bits this season and I, then I want him to stay on it and that is fantastical because I, I think Kane does want to leave and it might be that Kane's just feel he feels that he's not stagnated in terms of the football right he, he's, he's got better over the years um, you know he's, he drops deep he does he does so many things that you know you can look at him as the, our best midfielder as well as our best striker at times but I don't want to lose our best, one of our best ever players, you know. Just so from from that from that perspective, no amount of money would make me think, yeah, okay, take the money, because a he's impossible to replace. Like, how do you replace him? You you can't, you know. You you have to change. You have to change the way you play. You have to change the way that you re- rely on on. We've been very reliant on him. We have to rely on. Maybe be a better collective and rely on, on on several players, which is what you know team football team team plays about in football. Um, there's also the, the the angle if you come from it from a pr- pragmatic point of view, we're going to lose him for nothing next summer if he stays. So you're thinking, well, if we're going to spend the money that we're going to get for him, you're going to you're going to want to you're going to you're going to want to try and bring in other players and, and try and change change things up. Um, but again, I'm just kind of stuck between the two things because I want to believe that, that, that Kane can remain loyal. And then I remember he's been here 18 years. So is that not loyalty enough from his perspective? The, pro- the problem, We've Spooky, with, different... with, with like, demanding loyalty now from Kane again, right? Like You hope that he would want be a one-club one man. I know, not... it's strange, right? But, but what, what, what the issue is, is that he needs to sign a new contract. And he signed a contract mm. with Tottenham before and he got stung by mm. it. So he's looking mm. at it now. I'm sure there's an element of like, you done me before, fair play, all good. But um, you know, now I'm in a situation where I, I've got I hold the cards. He, I mean, you, you, you're, you're I'm, asking I'm him to play, to play the rest right? of his career at Tottenham. Now yeah. that's what you're asking him to do. I'm I'm fumbling this because I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out the right answer for you, and I don't think there is a right answer. Like part of me is also thinking about what is he thinking about because he's he's obviously someone who is designing his, his the next ten years of his life. You can see what he's doing in America with all the kind of promotional work. You know what what what's that about? Is that to do with the NFL? Is that to do with an academy? I mean, what 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 is he thinking business wise when he's looking at the US? And then you think of Shearer's record. He's happy to put that on hold, go out to Germany. Hopefully, avoid a major injury, and then come back again. Come back to where to ask to someone else, then break the record there. Like, is he is he going to Germany because it's a, it's a quick win for him? He's going to get silverware, no doubt. You know, unless you know Bayern Munich fumble it. Um, but it's well, I mean, the, the, it's, so he he is. I, I don't think he really cares about the Premier League all time goals for him record. I'm sure he'd love it. He'd absolutely love it. But leaving. Really? Well, what, 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 what I would say is that you are gambling massively if you're leaving the, the country to play in Germany. And the idea that in two years, because Bayern Munich aren't going to want to sell you in a year or two years no, if they've no, just paid 90 exactly. mil. So he's got to come yeah. back and stay injury free. Now, he said yeah. previously he wants to play until he's 40. I mean, most players want to play until they're 40, I'm sure. But sometimes injuries happen and he's, he's risking yeah. that. He, he also there there is a part of it though is like the fact that he's going to Bayern Munich, if if that is true. To, I think he has to have, some credit has to be given to him, as well, because in what way? Well, because he could go anywhere. He could he could stay, run his contract down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and go yeah, to yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. He could go to Man City. He could go to Man United. Yeah. He could go to Liverpool. There are many clubs that could have could could convince him to stay in England and break yeah. all those records. To some degree, do you think that it could be that? He's he's he hasn't like he holds the club 
and his legacy and mm-hmm. his relationship with the fan base to such a high regard that he's like, well, Bayern Munich is, is a good option for me and this doesn't hurt my legacy at all. It's the most inoffensive yes. transfer, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Because it doesn't upset me if, if he plays for Bayern Munich because with no disrespect to German football, I don't, you know, it's, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't do much for me. Um, so him joining that football club doesn't offend me. He, he will still feel like a Tottenham player and he's just on loan somewhere. You yeah. know, that's not reality. But he just won't feel, I won't feel hurt by it as opposed to him maybe, yeah, leaving Spurs next summer and, and going to Chelsea, which would just taint his legacy completely. So he, he in, in in that regard, yeah, it's probably the most diplomatic move that he can make. And it's it's one that I, I will probably then, you know, we, all of us will just get on with it, okay? And and the, the thing about this is there has to be life after Harry Kane as well. Of course. And, 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 and yes, again, to go back to the sentiment, I'm trying to delay that. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to be someone who says, yeah, take the money and let's crack on because why would I want to lose our, our, our greatest ever goal scorer? But yeah, if you're going to be an adult and growing up about it, you have to think about the club. The club's bigger than any one player, even though it's disputable at the minute. Um, so yeah, I guess if he does go to Germany, he'll have to go there for three years, four seasons. So yeah, you're right. It does. We don't remember Alan Shearer for winning the league at Blackburn, I guess would be my point, right? We re- we talk about Alan, Alan Shearer being a record goal scorer. Um, Kane has got a collection of, of, of personal accolades, right, and, and awards. So him not having this one when he's just forty seven away from it, to me, you know, it's the what I know. I know you think he doesn't care about it. And, not, and no, I, kind of I, I think he does logic, care about but, it, but I, I think he it's not as important to him as we think it is. Is all I say. Yeah, I guess he just wants his legacy to include trophies, and uh, and I guess, I don't guess I know that it's it's a shame that he, you know the, the probability of that happening at Tottenham is probably quite high once he leaves. Because but, that's I, I just can't understand that universe. spook. Right? I cannot understand right. that because the own like he that the so many people have won trophies, loads of people, players, mm. quarter of Kane's ability have, has won trophies. Mm-hmm. The one thing he can achieve in England. Is something that isn't about team performance. It's about him as a personality, which has become the best an all-time goal scorer in 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 the Premier League. Statistically, the mm. best striker the Premier League has ever seen. Winning the Bundesliga surely can't compare to that. So he must have some designs on coming back at some stage. Just Did I just you... want to take you back to this uh, okay. this yeah. um, the Skybet fan hope survey because, like yeah. like I said, sixty percent of fans want to sell up this summer. Um, Bayern Munich coming back apparently with a bid of around 90 million pounds which is starting mm. to get close to what you, you, you think you would have to consider um 22 yeah. percent saying hold out for 100 million or nothing but there's a remaining 39 percent of spurs fans that were interviewed or, or, or canvassed for the survey uh who want to run the cornlet keeping hold of kane for the final year of his deal and hoping to convince him to extend his time at the club while accepting that he may leave for nothing next summer what kind of ball like what is that the way a top club operates in, in hoping that we can convince him to stay? Or as a football club, do we need leadership at the top that says, this is the situation, I know it's going to be tough, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to sell him and we're going to rebuild. What what what, what do you make of that? Yeah, 40, we, we, 40% we, of the fan base are, are pretty much saying, let's just run the gauntlet, see what happens. Yeah. It, again, if you want to talk about leadership that the thing that we've lacked is at board level right like we what type of football club are we meant to be what type of identity are we meant to have and all these type of questions so when when you're thinking about consolidating or solidifying what we have we haven't got much we've got a brand new project we've got a brand new manager who's going to try and and repair this football team in terms of identity with or without harry kane but i think the most important thing would be to the football team so as a as a as a chairman, us hanging on is a bit desperate as well. If you want to just flip it, if you want to remove the sentiment, the romantic notion, if the player does, if he, if Kane doesn't want to be a Tottenham anymore, you know, if if he's prepared, if he's going to look at January or next summer, if if his head isn't in it for the long term, then there's you know there, there, there there's a there's a conversation you can have with your with your manager and just say look what do you want to do here, you know does it help having Kane guide you through your first season 
but the the thing is, we're not, we're going to get nothing from him at the end of it. The or thing... do, and it's that it's that part of it. See, I'm not answering your question directly here because again, I'm trying to I'm trying to work out like what I would do if I was running the football club. Well, I, I think and, I have an I answer. I'll... I think I have an answer for you. Go on then. If I, so, if... see if it matches what I'm okay. heading towards. I don't know if it is, but what I would say, oh. Spook, is that if it was under Conte, then you'd say don't sell, don't sell him. In in no mm. world do you sell Harry Kane because nothing mm. works without Harry Kane. If it was mm. under Mourinho, I'd say exactly the same thing. Under mm. Postecoglou, the way he intends to play football, scoring goals won't be a problem. If, mm. if scoring bulk goals isn't a problem for Spurs next season, because we are an all-out attacking team, thank God, at this stage I can say that, thank God that we are an all-out all, all attacking team, then scoring goals will be less of an issue than it would be yeah. if we had a Conte system. So if £90 million, £100 million is on the table for what is the best striker in the league, but we lose him for nothing... But we were negated it. We would negate the issue of Harry Kane leaving by the style of football. Then maybe that is the most logical and correct thing to do is to is to sell him because Postecoglou will negate that by his his footballing philosophy, and we can reinvest that in the defence. Right? That's yeah. Yeah, you hope. Yeah. Well, man, if we if we get ninety million pound and he doesn't spend it on two top defenders, then mm. then I'm, I'm yeah. Then we we there there will be massive questions to be asked. I'll be outside process. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> um, sorry, what was your idea? Lose, how this might end? Yeah, no, I, I think my idea was to, to just just really really show that we're, we're we're Spurs haven't moved on, right? You know this this thing around painful rebuild, and we have rebuilt. We've got so many new players. Yeah, we've got a lot of legacy players that haven't been moved on, and the the problem with Spurs is that we're we, we're anchored to the past, and we're also so reliant on Harry Kane. And there's a reason for that, which you've explained. All our teams in the last four years have had him at the centre of everything. And without him, we, we we're in trouble. Whereas now, I don't feel that threat. I don't feel... I don't, I'm not fearful because we're going to rebuild properly, finally. And you've got someone who's going to play football that gives all the players the ability to be expressive and expansive, which is mad, right? Because that's how Tottenham are meant to be playing football. And we've been starved of the basics for, for such a long time. And we've just had to rely on, on, the, on the magic of Kane and one or two others to get us through everything. Um, whereas now it's, it, it's, it's a genuine collective. So if, if uh, And this is based on zero Premier League games for Postacoglu, right? There's a lot of faith going into this. But um, that's what football should be about. You, 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 you put your, your heart on, wear your heart on your sleeve and you just... The risk of losing everything is what probably makes football so amazing. Because if you just sat there and it was and it's a clinical transactional type of thing, where do you get your highs and lows from? How how do you? So um, to bring it back to Kane, yeah, I, I, it probably would be best that he left this summer if he really wants to go to Germany. Half his family have really been out there. I don't want it to happen. I'd rather he stayed. I'd rather we win something this season. And he thinks. Well, I want something now. What do I need to move for? But, you know, you don't know what the guy is thinking behind closed doors. He might just fancy a change. He has to score, he might, he has to score 40 goals, you know, in, 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 German, in Germany, probably. There you was, know? There um, was, yeah. I think, I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, it's... it's yeah, I think we're, we're, we're on the same page here. I there messed was... up, man. I'm struggling to get to articulate how I'm feeling because this is probably the first time I've, 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 I've tried to think about it. And, but the problem with me, as you know, I'm a deep thinker. And I'm, instead of just thinking about how I feel, I'm trying to work out what, how the club feels, how the supporters feel, <laughs> how Kane feels. And it's just a mess. It's an absolute mess. I mean, there's no We've right. got to move on, man. We've the, got yeah, to move exactly. on. Tottenham will always be here. Yeah. We'll, we'll always be, have to move on. Fundamentally, you do have to move on, whether it's this season, next season. And, you know, I'm not... There, there are so many football clubs out there that don't have Harry Kane that are successful. But we, we need to operate in a way that, uh, the, the, the player isn't the be all and end all and you know if it is 100 million pound or whatever it might be then then so be it um, one other thing from this Sky Bet Fan Hope survey that came out was that one in ten of Spurs fans that were interviewed said that Post um, said that Pochettino was uh, the best he manager was. in the league eh? yeah, one in ten <laughs> that's one in ten of, of 350 Spurs fans that were surveyed for this said uh, the okay. yeah what that, is it is it that these these fans are holding on to what happened? Yeah. It is, is that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, seven years ago. Look, in, in the summer, 
uh, in the summer, like when 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 we knew Conte would be moving on, we all, many of us, many of us want, wanted Poch, right? Yeah, because it's a safety blanket. It's it's something that we had and, and it was great when it was great. You kind of you don't forget the bad times the last eighteen months. Um, but you 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 what we wanted it wasn't so much the risk of him coming back and not being able to repeat what he did, but it was the fact that he understood Tottenham. And he had that kind of dad vibe that everyone obsesses about, right? He he loves the club, loved the club, um, and and we we just want someone that doesn't sit down and and come across as a consultant, doesn't sit down and kind of powers through this agenda. How Tottenham are such a small football club and they don't have a winning pedigree and they don't do anything. Conte was just too much, you know. And as much as I thought he was going to bring and instill this kind of um, it's kind of fearless, uh, kind of do or die mentality. Um, it went the opposite way. It became depressive, you know. And it, and and obviously, you can just look at Basuma dancing in every video that you see, you know, dancing because he's going to go to training. And it's just little things like that. It doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things, but you can tell that the squad is a little I bit think, more upbeat. I think it means it a lot. Me upbeat. Like, but what what one of our players is excited to go to training, whereas before they couldn't even get a game. <laughs> Like I think yeah, that, it, it, yeah, little things like that, man. You pick up on those things, and it's just you you understand that you know there's more to it than just you know he's a world class manager and he's A, B, and C and whatever else. Like in the end, even though people see some people still seem to think Conte was the best thing that ever happened to Tottenham because he spoke the truth. What what truth did he speak? He just amplified things that we know already, yeah. and he made them worse. He, he didn't he didn't do anything positive in the end no you know and i'm sure like bardi is is, is kind of like scratching away uh uh, uh he's, he's screen watching this but the the, the point is it, conte didn't bring he, he didn't make us love the club he made us he made us hate the club along with him um and, and it made us hate the experience and you just so far we've got Postacoglu. I can see he's annoyed with the Kane thing, and he mm. said it himself. Just, just we, one way or the other, we have to move on with this. And if it came down to him making the decision, he'd probably tell Kane, "Just, just go, just go, go, go to, go to Bayern Munich." Indeed, just shift on. If, if you're not 100 well, percent with Tottenham, we had a question from go. Jack. Actually, he says, "How tired are you of this Kane saga?" Personally, feel it's casting a shadow over everything else. And seems like he's sick and tired of it, and just wants a decision mm. made ASP, AS, ASAP. And we all know Levy and Bayern will drag it over uh, the, the, the rest of the summer to the start yeah. of the season. Um, if you want to hear more from the Skybet fan survey, you can find out all their survey, uh, all their findings in 2023. Uh, add your voice to the debate and share your season predictions on the Skybet fan central. Um, the link is in the description below. Uh, it's in the post, pod, pod, pod description if you're looking on Spotify or elsewhere. And also it'll be linked to the Twitter tweet that we've got.